Hi everyone! Hi people! So today I'll be talking about um, a surgery that I had last year in the fall, or no, last year in the late summer. It's a tendon transfer surgery. What it is, is that it allows me to, to move this arm all the way up as if I were to have the tricep back. This is something very confusing. I'm going to try my best to my ability to explain it. Um, so, being a C5, that allows me to have perfectly fine bicep. They cut right over here to where my bicep is, and they move part of my bicep over to the back of my elbow so that it could allow me to push up against gravity. Having biceps allows me to bend my arm inward towards me, but for the fact that I do not have any triceps, I cannot push or extend my arm out forward against gravity. So what my tendon transfer allowed me to do was move part of my tricep to the back of my elbow in order to push forward out like this, even against gravity. Here I am with my cast from the surgery. It goes right from where my shoulder is to where my palm is. And here's me with my dog. I don't know why he looks like he totally hates me in this picture, but trust me, I love my dog. We love each other. And this is me going out um, with my cast on, obviously. I did get a lot of stares, but I got over it. And right here I am with my brace on. This was put on me after I got to the hospital, right after they removed the cast. And in this short video, I'm here just doing my therapy shortly after my cast was taken off. I'm also able to slightly push myself up from my chair to, to sort of do a, a pressure relief you can't really tell that much of a difference, but it is something compared to the nothing that I had before my surgery. If I try to do this on my other arm, I would not be able to do it at all. Um, not until I get my other, don my other arm done, hopefully. And here I am flexing again. Oh, and here I'm doing it against gravity. Like, when I'm laying in bed, I'm actually able to lift my arm up now. Um, obviously, only the arm that I got done. It's on my right arm. The reason why um, I chose to do it was because... Hi, so I had to restart the video because it started thunderstorming. There was lots of rain falling down pretty hard and a lot of lightning but just to quickly go over and to briefly summarize everything the tendon transfer what it is it's when you move one tendon to a different area in order to regain more movement since i'm paralyzed uh, at the c5 level c5 complete quadriplegic i'm paralyzed here on down but I have full mobility here on up, which means I have full control of my bicep. And they moved part of my bicep to where my tricep is, or to where my tricep used to be. So they moved it, I think it was from here, and they wrapped it to the back of my elbow in order for it to extend my arm. And the surgery was not difficult at all for me. It was one of the easiest ones. It was actually the easiest one I've ever had. They I don't remember much about it though because it was a lot it was a while ago but they injected me with like some numbing medication into my shoulder which was the most painful part about the whole experience and then my arm completely went numb almost instantly and I even woke up while while they were doing the surgery on me and I could hear them talk and everything but I ended up going back to sleep anyways just to make it go by quicker and then next thing I knew I had woken up from the surgery uh, and they did, not, they did not let me go back in the chair until the next day because you know they were just making sure 
I was well rested and I was that I got as much rest as I needed in order to get stabilized and they, since I did get my right arm done and I am right handed they did have to switch the joystick around in my chair so that I could start learning how to drive it with my left hand and I ended up getting used to it very quick and after 10 days in the hospital I went home for an extra three weeks so I was at home and while I was there I was able to go out to the stores it's just obviously I got a lot of stares since my cast was pretty huge but after the those three weeks were over I went back to the hospital and I did therapy for um, I think it was at least four weeks no it was six weeks of therapy but I ended up staying a little longer than six weeks um, but as soon as I got to the hospital I had to wear a brace on my arm which was even bigger than the cast but I'll show a picture and that brace has a valve that allows the therapist to switch the amount of degrees I'm able to fold it so each week I would be able to fold in my arm to bend in my arm a few degrees more each week so they started off by letting me do I think they did 10 degrees one week 10 degrees and second week and then the third week 15 degrees and so on but it depends on each person and what the therapist has to say about it when I did get the cast off my arm was completely weak because my muscles had not been in movement for over a month since it was casted but the movement and the strength comes back slowly and with time and with therapy even a few months afterwards I noticed it wasn't completely 100% but as of right now I could say my arm has never been stronger than it has been since my injury has happened and when I do go to the gym and do exercise or do some home therapy or whatever it is this will always be my stronger bicep for the fact that it's all where it's supposed to be this also has to be evaluated as well by the surgeons and the orthopedics because not everybody is a candidate and so by doing the evaluation they could tell you what what you could be a candidate for because there's them there's different things I'm also a candidate I think for wrist extension but I haven't thought about that my I haven't thought much about that yet but if I did leave anything out please let me know and I'll be happy to answer any other questions. Again, thanks for watching.